Day 4, Monday. Surai. Lemon Skate, Monday. I am so aggro right now. Okay. Who says that? Yeah, exactly. Why are you angry? You backed out on your Shovel Forge promise. I didn't make any promises. You promised me a date, though. I did go to your house. Two minutes before midnight, and you didn't even take me anywhere. Yeah, because we only had two minutes. We could have gone somewhere. Iturup, Kuneshir, Shikotan, Habomai? Absolutely not. Then you should have come earlier. Well, uh... <laughs> Never play with a maiden's heart. That's a, that's a life lesson right there. Plant. Date, look! It's a Terraphila Camelophilia! Look! Yay! Yay! Go Terraphila Camelophilia! What is a Terraphilia Camelophilia? Abba gets awfully excited about insects. So far. I should lose some weight. I didn't say so fat. Cuisine rack. Special. How to make good soba. I'll bring that one home for later. High table. Oh, it's a high table. Date, I don't understand. You want me to say hi to this table? That's not what I said. That's a terrible joke. A monitor. It's Shinsen Chatran. Who is that? Painting. Like it? It's called Fisherman Shagging a Common Dandy. Okay, I'm pretty sure it isn't. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Yes, 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 she is. Uh, let's go. <laughs> What's your type? Well, I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. I cannot even picture that. <laughs> I want to know your measurements. Um, I'm 5'4". That is clearly not what you meant. <laughs> Alright. Can I have your contact information? Um, why? Well, because it may lead to something in the future. Hmm, I don't know. Date, we're on an investigation. Just let me have this. <laughs> Can I have your contact information? That's enough. I'll come right out of your eye socket if you don't stop. Can I have your contact information? I'm serious. I'm going to pop out. Alright, we're just gonna do a quick save because I feel like I'm gonna do something that I may regret. <laughs> so we'll save. We'll come back to this if something happens. Uh, can I have your contact information? I flew out of my left eye and started dancing on the desk. The receptionist immediately fainted. I saw the whole thing and also fainted. And so, my story ended. The end. <laughs> really? But I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to ask her for her information. Ah, I thought that would be like another route end. Uh, that would have been hilarious. Um, I want to know where Renji is. I want to too. We've been looking for him. We've been getting so many calls, it's hard to keep up with. I'm gonna say it once and I'll say it again. Like, oh, like, oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, let's get Iris. Iris is looking at me. Okay. Have a day off. Off? Yeah, from school. Oh, yeah, it's a holiday. So I decided to come to Lemnus Gate. We're going to do a recording for a show soon. Man, busybody. That's good. Um, why was your phone off yesterday? I know you were mad about our date, but why was your phone off? I couldn't get a hold of you. Um... Um, what? About the late night visitor. Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Who was it? And you left the house as well. Where did you go? You really want to know? 
Oh god. Yes. And you'd do anything for the answer. Oh god, I knew it's gonna be like this. Yes. Alright then. Shovel Forge. No. Then go on a date with me. Again, no. But you owe me for yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. Objection. Even if you did get a hold of me, you didn't want to see me anyway, right? Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. <sighs> what is Shovel Forge? Have a guess. Have a guess. It's a very famous game. With a different name. In our reality. Alright, where is Renju? What about him? I don't need to hide it. I told her about Renju's disappearance. A traffic accident? I'm worried. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. Okay. Uh, do you know So Sijima, the politician? I've seen him on TV. Ever met him? No. Not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but uh, Iris, I saw your body. Iris, promise you won't laugh, but I saw something at the cold storage warehouse last night. What? Your dead body. <laughs> I told you not to laugh. <laughs> but come on, Date. I'm alive. I'm right here. Look, I can jump around. Woohoo! Stop, I'm serious. In my dream, I saved you from being killed. And here you are. Which is why I was like that when I went to your house yesterday. Sorry, there's no point in telling you all this. No, it's fine. Sorry for laughing. I just didn't know what was up with you. Huh? I believe you, Date. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Another bizarre explanation. Is the game trying to tell me that this is a parallel story path line and it actually did happen on, or it didn't happen. Because there's just some things in the flowchart that doesn't make sense. Summarize. So, what are we doing? What do you mean? For our date, of course. Yeah, yeah, let's go on a date. I, I need information anyway. Fine. Hey, wait a minute. Yay! So you'll play Shovel Forge with me? Yes. I will not. Okay, guess not. So we'll go on a date then. <sighs> yes. Deal. And you have to honor our agreement this time. I can't believe it. Mm. Oh, but we can't go right away. I have a recording coming up. I should be done by three though. Tessa, we're starting soon. Got it. So Date, meet me back here at three? If you ditch me, I will be beyond furious. I might need to ditch you because I realize I do also need to go back to marble. Anyway, bye for now. Peace. Right, Iris, uh, don't go on dates. Iris, you're too young for me. I can't be seen with you. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Everybody! This awful man! He... He... Fine, fine! <laughs> I'll do whatever you want. Really? Yes. Look how quickly she changes. Shovel Forge? I will not! So we'll go on a date then? <sighs> yes! Yay! It's a deal! Damn it. And you have to honor our agreement this time. She really is a witch. <laughs> oh, but we can't go right away. Okay, so so that's what happens. Iris smiled and strolled over to the, to the studio. There is no point remaining here. Agreed. Let's get moving. All right, final place. Cold storage warehouse, Monday. With Iba in my left eye socket, I walked into the cold storage warehouse. I could see my breath. I looked around, shivering. Nothing seemed to change from last night, though. 
shelves of boxes. There are numerous cardboard boxes on the shelves. There is nothing abnormal about them. That barrel? There it is. Hi, I'm Dramaimon. Iba, the jokes. You've got to stop. <laughs> it doesn't have any magical pockets, though. It's a wooden box. There is nothing inside. Okay. Shelves. There are only a few items on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. A forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. The crane on the ceiling. Nothing has changed. A forklift. It doesn't seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. The tires on the forklift and the ground there are on are clearly frozen. Switchboard. A switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. I'm wondering, could it be that this whole thing is just a dream? Like, I'm in a somnium somewhere. Maybe I'm synced up to something right now. And I'm reliving some of the experiences. And and because it's not a perfect sync, like, it's it's mixing up reality and dreams together. Like, someone's messing with my mind or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe someone's trying to, like, dive into my brain. That machine is used to cut ice. Do they store ice here? Mm. You first arrived here yesterday at 9 p.m. At that time... Lying on this workbench was... Iris's dead body, covered with a white cloth. But the second time... The corpse was gone. It was 11.25 p.m., but the body could not have simply vanished. Crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. When did they arrive? According to the report, 10.30 p.m., after we finished sinking with So. It took them an hour and a half to get here? Correct. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. The report does not specify. Mmm, streamy sauce. Perhaps a result of outside influence. Outside influence? In any case, there is nothing of note about the bench. Examining it will not reveal any further information. Oh, uh, maybe if there's like a an out body outline, that would have been nice. Uh, but we didn't find anything useful. Nothing. But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. What do you mean? I was just thinking out loud. Yeah, maybe the place is too clean. Let's get going. Date, your temperature is dropping. At this rate, they might find your body in here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go back to Abyss Headquarters. Police Headquarters, Monday, 2.49pm. Um, if it's 2.49, we're cutting it pretty close to the date that we're supposed to have with um, Iris. I returned to Abyss Headquarters with Iba. I needed to talk to the boss. As I entered the room, the boss smiled, like she was waiting for me. I took care of what you asked for. Number 89? He's here, in the interrogation room. I'm on it. You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. One of the higher-ups needs me. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Understood. Ah, uh, Falcon. Why is boss always sitting like that? I don't know. Maybe she has a short skirt and doesn't want to reveal. Let's get started. Let's look at this guy. Smug looking guy. The man known as 89 is sitting in front of me. Okay, Mr. Smug Face. What's your name? Number 89. Your real name. I don't know. I forgot. Okay. Where are you from? Djibouti. Northeast Africa. A small republic of roughly 900,000. I don't take kindly to stupid lies. Mm -hmm. How many people have you killed? I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. Alright. Wanna be badass? Why did you call Sosijima's secretary? Oh, you know about that. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. I got him on the line and I told him something very important. You spoke with him directly? Yeah. Okay. What did you tell him? I told him to call somebody. Somebody? I can't tell you anymore. <sighs> About Shoko's murder. 
All right, let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? That depends on your answer. Number 89. Yes, I promise. You can't promise that, Date. <laughs> You're lying. You don't want to release me. That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? You really want to know? Is he going to try to escape here? Here's what I mean! Oh, god damn it. Oh. Data, you had to have seen that coming. You'll make a good hostage for me. Take me to the exit. Now. Police headquarters, Monday, 4.06 p.m. Oh, darn. Oh, darn indeed. Are you kidding me? No, we're not kidding you. A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. We need to get number 89 back before then. Man, I, this is why you need to have the chains locked to the ground. You know, this is why, This is even if he kicks the so-called, you know, table, which should have been secured in the first place, even if he were able to kick it, he wouldn't be able to lurch forward anyways because he'd be chained to the ground. Large key. But no keyhole for it. Same as you, Date. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Bags. Inside the bags are colorful handcuffs. Okay. Chair. I really like chairs. They look... Delicious. Okay, you keep your fetishes to yourself, Peter. What the hell are you talking about? AC vent. So now you're ogling me too? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Bottle. Date, Peter. Once we're done here, let's pop that bottle. Not a bad idea. But when the boss gets drunk, she has the tendency to crush balls. <laughs> In that case, perhaps we should never solve this case. Perhaps. Volleyball. Spiking is an important part of volleyball. Hmm. Spiking. Spike. Spike tune? What is that? <laughs> That's nostalgic. When I was a kid, I used to put a broom between my legs and pretend to be a witch. Of course you did, Peter. Fishing flag. Wait a minute, did you let number 89 escape on purpose? So that you could catch the bigger fish? Yeah, boss. Exactly. I was kidding. Clock. If you had the power to stop time, what would you do? Ooh, what would I do if I had the power to stop time? Assuming I don't age as well. I reckon if I had the power to stop time, I will con probably consume every single media in the... Oh, that depends. I guess if I stop time, does that mean... Okay, we're going to forego the the real facts and go f to fantasy facts. So, assuming I can move around and still access all the equipment and use, uh, etc. I'll probably consume every single media and information and become the smartest man alive. That would be what I'd do. Do you even have to ask? Oh, God, Date, no. Your heart rate is increasing rapidly. Snowboard. I want to knock you over the head with that snowboard right about now. Then allow me to say this. I will slalom away from that attack. <laughs> Not funny. I think it is. Symbol. Date, look! A UFO? That's a symbol. Stationary bike. Boss, I turned your stationary bike into a coffee grinder. You use the pedals to grind the beans. Why the hell did you do that? So you can exercise? Apparently the stationary bike is now a coffee meal. That's the figure. They were kind and had a big smile. Such a shame. Mask left. Reminds me of your ex, Dante. It shouldn't. 
Computer static. Um, okay. Computer, how did he get away? He punched out an officer and stole his clothes. He put on the uniform and brought me with him at gunpoint. Well, he had the gun in his pocket, uh, hiding it. No one on the floor even knew this was happening. He got on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He even stole my security card. He said he'd kill me if I tried anything. I suppose the whole escape took him about uh, five minutes. He must have planned this. You're rather calm about all this. I'm coming down from being terrified for my life. I'm in a bit of a fugue state right now. Hmm. Huh? Where's my gun? Number 89 still has it. But don't worry, I have a spare. I'll give it to you later. Okay. Where is 89? How would I know? After he got to the exit, he let me go. I didn't see where he went. I collapsed right there. Alright, Peter. Boss. So we got boss. Okay, same thing. Uh let's not apologize. Don't you have something to say? No. I know an apology isn't gonna fix it, but I know I'm responsible for this. I'll get him. Well then, good luck. Okay, so that's it. All right. Well, I'm gonna apologize. I'm not the type of person that doesn't apologize for my mistakes. What? I'll apologize. Boss, it's my fault he got away. I'm sorry. Don't waste time apologizing. I figured as much. Go catch him. I'm the one who has to go on an apology tour now. <sighs> you really messed up this time. Alright, uh, summarize. Date, I know you are already aware of this, but there are security cameras all over this compound. I checked all of them. Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. Wait, what? So he had an accomplice? Yes. Did you see who was driving? I did. Who was it? So Sejima, right? You and I know him well. Renju? Renju? I told Boss and Peter what Iba had revealed to me. Renju? Why? Date, Moma is calling. Moma? From the Kumakuras? I'll connect him. Hey, Date. I just got the word. Renju's been seen. What? Where? Hey, don't forget our deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get to meet Iris. Deal? What deal? Oh my god, Dante already forgot it. <laughs> you forgot already? I'm talking about Tessa. Oh, right. I'll be waiting. You know what to do. What should we do? We have no choice. We have to take her. To MoMA? Yes. Great. Let me escape. Monday, 4.43 p.m. Nice to eat and chicken is education. <laughs> oh my gosh! Late, 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 late. You're late. I'm going home. Never! Have you forgotten the vows you exchanged? Are you drunk? No, of course not. <laughs> You're drunk. I'm kid, 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 kid. I'm kidding! I can't believe I'm gonna shovel forge with you. I'm getting excited! Uh, we never promised Shovel Forge. We are not Shovel Forging. I was talking about the date, silly. Shovel Forge and a date are synonymous, apparently. So where are we going? Uh, probably shouldn't take her, but yeah, we're gonna take her there. Plant. Date, look! It's a Parastatota Tepidariorum! Hooray! Go, little Parastatota Tepidariorum! Damn, I mean, I am, I am impressed. I have no idea what bug she's talking about though. <laughs> uh, so far. A slipper, usually made of leather. That's a loafer. Magazine rack. Special. Catch a skyfish. Next time these magazines get replaced, I'm taking that one. Magazine rack. Vending machine. High table. Date, I've been thinking. About what? I have my greeting ready. You were asking me to say hello to the table earlier? Do you have nothing to say? It's a high table. Uh, I mean, that's a that's a really terrible pun, I'd say. Monitor. Oh, 
That's Quinten Rapcone. Oh, I've heard of them. Really? I'm not gonna even try. Where should I take her? Let's have a look at her first. Iris is acting kind of weird. Uh, gangster bar to where the dragon is. A really nice place. To a Yakuza office building. Let's just tell her what it is. No point lying to you. I need you to come with me to an office. I'll have to inspect it though. What? An insect show? I didn't know you were into that. Well, okay. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Let's go to the insect show. Okay. She didn't completely understand, but I didn't have time to... Sh <laughs> I didn't have time to care? Really, Date? I took Aris to the Kumakuras. Kumakura office. Monday, 5.10pm. So, where are the Aziptilopratic Colas? <laughs> Tessa! <laughs> My mom. Oh! Is this guy the Aziptilopratic Cola? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Are you the insect trainer? Go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. Start the insect show now! Wait a minute. This is a gangster den. No shit. Took you long enough. Dante, you tricked me! I wasn't trying to trick you. You just misunderstood me. To see the bugs, I really did. Oh, so she likes insects as well. Oh, I was gonna get happy. Mama, I held up my end of the deal. You sure did. You want to hear about Renju, Mr. Okira? Partition. Hey, Tessa, let's have a party. No, thanks. <laughs> Lanterns. Hey, Iris. What do you think of when you see two lanterns pushed together? Huh? I mean, it kind of looks like something, right? Uh, not really. No, no, really. Picture two lanterns pushed together, and you put your face between them. Uh, Date? There's something that reminds you of? Lanterns. What, you mean boobs? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it, Moma. You're not supposed to say it. Date, you're a creep. Certified creep. There are lanterns with the Kumakura written on them so far. How many cows did they kill for this? Uh, it's a fake? Ashtray. Hey, look! A UFO! That's an ashtray. Tiger rug. Poor thing! What you did to that tiger is awful! Oh, that's fake. <laughs> Whiteboard. Last month's schedule is written on the board. 23rd. Hot Spring Samelia exam. Company motto. Restaurants will take forever to fulfill your bottomless drink orders. So order them all up front. Desk. Dessa, if you're tired, you can sit on my desk. Okay, this guy's also a certified creep. On your desk. Well, let's talk to Iris first. Make sure she's okay. Alright, standing there, of course she is. Um. Sincerely apologize, yes. Sorry for bringing you here. I it's okay. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. <laughs> just a gang. About as contradictory as meatless beef. The old boss was really violent. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him funny. But after I took over, we went crystal clean. Right. Crystal. Methamphetamines. No, we don't do <laughs> drugs. We don't deal with that stuff. We had to restructure the whole operation. Cut a lot of people off. Murder then. Cut? Their throats. No! Not like that! <laughs> uh, about Renju. What happened to Mr. Okura? I heard he escaped the hospital. So did I. But I don't know anything more than that. Please tell me. Renju's escape from the hospital was strange. Three things stuck out to me. I laid out the facts. Mizuki was lured to the place where Shoko's body was found by a message sent by Renju's phone. I found Iris's body on Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. 
Earlier today, Renju fled with the prisoner escaping a life sentence, an assassin named 89. Formerly known as Hold Falcon. On. What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? Oh, well... Date saw a parallel world with my dead body in it! A parallel world? Never heard of it? Oh, yeah! Of course I am! <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right! Parallel worlds and all that shit! Yeah! I don't understand it, but I suppose he does. Good, because I don't feel like explaining it. But why would Mr. Okira do that? Exactly. Why? I don't know. He could be a hostage or an accomplice. Hmm. Either way, I need to find him. Introduce Momo, I guess. Oh yeah, I haven't introduced this old man yet. I'm 24! Momo is lying. He is at least 48. <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry for not introducing myself. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. Right. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. How did you know that? Is he stupid? <laughs> I think he is. Introduce Moma. Moma may not look it, but he's a huge ASET fan. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. I can't make him do the rhymes. Gambling. <laughs> Worries. Uh, forget Fred Aset. Now what does she say? Aset, you bet. Wow, my catchphrase. Thank you. <laughs> this this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but you know what? It, it if it doesn't harm anyone, including yourselves, like, doesn't really matter. But sorry, Moma. I don't like gangsters. <gasps> <laughs> I think he's heartbroken. Uh, I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> oh, poor, poor Moma. Alright, Moma. Time for your bargain. Have a look at him. Um, yeah, where are your goons? They're out, looking for Renju. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. I know. Good point. That's a, an expensive looking ring. Why do you care? Can I have it? What? <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> Dante, what is wrong with you? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to you? Hey, can I have the ring? Absolutely, of course you can. Here, take it. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. no. I, I can't give you this. You're so cheap. Oh my god. Come on, it's not like you're losing it. It's exactly like I'm losing it. <laughs> Aww. These guys are just doing daylight robbery. <laughs> you guys are a good team. Like siblings. <laughs> All right, about Renju's tip. You said on the phone that you saw Renju. Yeah, I had all my people looking for him. So, tell me where he is. Hmm, I could... Wait, what do you mean you could? Just tell me. Hey, I held up my end. Yeah. I brought Iris like you asked. Date, come here. Mama took me to the corner of the room. Date, I don't quite know how to ask this, but can you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? I mean, yes, I can, I guess. But please, give me all the information first. Oh, that's it? Sure. Momo and I broke our huddle. Iris, could you do me a favor? A favor? He, uh, wants to see your boobs. Wait, what? <laughs> Dante, how did you get that from that? What the fuck, dude? I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, sorry. What I meant was, he wants to shake your hand. Oh, a handshake. Sure. I would never show my boobs. Yeah, Dante. Iris took Mama's hand gently and shook it. Don't 
update. This is the happiest day of my life. Oh. It feels good to be the boss. Uh. So how about it? All right, here it goes. Renju was seen in two places. First, Sunfish Pocket, the maid cafe. Okay. Second, Ikume Shrine. Okay. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. No problem, bro. Really. That must be. Anyway, Moma, take care of Iris for me. What? What? Wait! You're leaving me here? You'll be safe with him. <laughs> okay, second thoughts. Maybe not. Are you serious? Look at his face! <laughs> not to mention he runs a crime syndicate. What if he sells me to the highest bidder? Tessa, I would never do that! I told you, we're clean now. We all go home on time, we follow government regulations. See ya. Wait! What about Shovel Forge? We never promised to do Shovel Forge. I told you, I never promised to play with you. Exactly. But you promised me a date! This was the date. D Date! Is this true? You son of a bitch! <laughs> uh oh. I'm gonna ignore that. Good idea. Date, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Take me with you. If you do, I'll tell you about last night. Her late night visitor. Damn it, everyone has information with and they're withholding from you. What part of this do they not understand is obstructing investigations? Fine. Yay! Date, don't ignore me! I'm ignoring you. A clean gang? <laughs> oh, that's just a toy. Oh, just a toy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them alone for a while. Mm -hmm. We have two places to check. Sunfish Pocket and Kumi Shrine. I want to go to the warehouse too, where you found my dead body. Something bothering you? No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing. Can we eat somewhere? Food sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. Oh, my chest hurts. Getting... Hard to breathe. Uh, can you give me a smile? <laughs> can you lift your arms? Sounds like he's going through a heart attack. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, we got plenty of places to go. Just heartbreak. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm going to go to the dino, eat first, and work our way up. Let's do that.